Yeah, there I was, folks. At only the young age of 20, 3 a.m. in the morning, sitting on a bare, dirty mattress thrown down on the floor of a basement bedroom that I paid for with drug money. Loud music and laughter, screams, sobbing, just all sorts of madness blared in my ears from the other side of a door. A door I barricaded nightly just to keep the other dope heads from wandering inside. When I was startled awake again that morning by who knows who, trying to get inside for who knows what, I put my face in the palms of my hands and I simply began to cry. Welcome, folks. My name is R. Glenn Kelly, and yes, I've been there, been through the fire, been at a place where I thought the bottom dropped out of my life. I'll bet you've been there too. Maybe, maybe you're there right now, okay? You feel the bottom has dropped out of your life and you're just falling through into Lord knows what. Lost, right? Well, today I know my true identity and it gives me peace and purpose. I live a life filled with inspiration, motivation, and service to others. But that fateful morning at 3 a.m., I had a revelation and it wasn't a good one. That morning at only the age of 20, I recognized that I had not only forsaken my past, but my present seemed filled only by those so-called friends in low places looking for the next high and a future for me that probably had an early expiration date, right? And understand that hit me hard. I had come to the horrifying belief that I was lost. I had no life. I had no identity. And believing that revelation at the time, I thought the bottom had dropped out of my life that morning and it was over. Now, when the bottom had dropped, I'd recover, of course, but understand that wasn't the only time in my upcoming life that I felt the bottom drop out. Unwanted divorce would come, money problems, career disappointments, both parents passing away far too young. It's amazing how often we can use that expression, the bottom dropped out, and believe we mean it. But, it was in 2013 when my 16-year-old son and only child's heart failed and he took his final breath in my arms that the bottom seemed to drop out for me in the biggest way. But also, believe it or not, the bottom dropped out that horrible, horrible day for the final time. Today, I find grace in serving, in being a noted author, motivational speaker, workshop presenter, and business coach. I enjoy sharing my message of hope and healing with others in books, on TV, radio, on stage, in podcasts and magazine articles, and I'm incredibly proud to shout to the world that I remain the loving father of my late son, Jonathan Taylor Kelly, whether he is here with me on earth or waiting on the other side. Yet it was a tragic passing of Jonathan, or actually the legacy he left behind for me, that sent me down a path of self-discovery. Today, I don't seek identity or success. I know who I am and I know what I'm about. I know joy now and I know peace, service to others. I know a healthy ego and I know unconditional love. That love, that peace, let me tell you right now, it's inside all of us, regardless of how we feel at the moment. So, let me ask you a question before we go. What do you fall into when the bottom drops out of your life? Where do you think you go every time you say or think that phrase? Well, I'll answer that right now. Every time you felt that the bottom had dropped out of your life, you only fell into your true self, the very foundation of who you truly are, and you beautifully rebuilt. Think about that. And think about this. I've gone through the fire. And if you've gone through the fire too, or maybe going through it right now, Know that this fire is an all-consuming fire that only burns that which is false, and it leaves all truth whole and unconsumed. Has your bottom dropped out and you're having a problem recognizing your true self? Have you been through the fire and become confused and frightened when faced with your unconsumed truth? I was, many times until my life-changing discoveries brought peace and purpose to me. And you can find my discoveries that have helped me and so many others in my award-winning book, Sometimes I Cry in the Shower, A Grieving Father's Journey to Wholeness and Healing. It's so much more than just about the loss of a loved one. It's about discovering self-worth, self-esteem, and addressing an unhealthy ego, or EGO, edging God out as I've known it in the past. It's about becoming aware of our pre-wiring through both nature and nurture and allowing yourself to stand naked in the storm and not be afraid. It's about living inspired again, 
And listen, when you're inspired, you're in spirit, your spirit is leading you. And when you're truly inspired, there is absolutely nothing that you cannot accomplish and nothing the universe won't lay before you as you strive to move forward. Now, sometimes I cry in the showers available through most bookstores and in paperback, ebook, and audio book at major online retailers like Amazon, Audible, Barnes & Noble, iTunes, and more. But hey, it's also available in paperback and ebook directly from me at the Art Glenn Kelly Publications website. Not only are prices lower than the retailers, but all paperback copies are signed by me. And leave me a note in checkout and I'll inscribe any personal message you like. Are you ready to move forward? Do like so many others and find your true self today in my book, Sometimes I Cry in the Shower. Begin living inspired, living in spirit, and in a life of peace and purpose.